want any tours. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Fans from all over the world come to see the installation of the sailors and officers. We got a, a captain there and a telescope guy there. Look out. We did the same in the front. I got the captain and the telescope guy and a lieutenant with a gun there in the front. And we got a sailor climbing the right line rope ladder there. We got another sailor up there. So I'm not even halfway because it's not hard to glue them down, but it's hard to figure out where to put them. So this is a officer one thing I'm doing is taking their before I uh, put the E6000 to them on their feet because they've been painted and made out of pewter we don't know how exactly flat those feet are so just to make it easier for the guy to set straight in the glue to dry I'm <clears throat> holding it pretty straight as far as I can feel and then sanding it flat on the bottom of his feet so when we do put a little E6000 on there and then pick a spot for the officer to go I think this officer should be uh, watching them two guys over there that are working that cannon so we place him right there and if he looks like he's gonna fall over I'll take a piece of wood or one of these clamps or something and set next to him until he dries but he thinks he's gonna stand up straight he hasn't had too much rum so we'll go on to the next one and there's two of each because we bought two sets we have two identical <coughs> officers one from each set that we've painted up painstakingly painted them with the acrylic paints latex and acrylic paints because the oil paint did not work so if the zoom is working there or the focus rather they're pretty detailed in their paint job so they look pretty good so we just gotta pick a spot and glue them down and I'm gonna about halfway through the officers now it's just a matter of a little bit of sanding on his footsies And we put a little 
to have an E6000 on there trying not to let that spider web get all over the place from the glue. And <clears throat> I'm going to put this officer back in the back of the ship next to the telescope guy. Now this deck here in the back of the ship, it's got a little bit of a slope to it. So they tend to want to fall over. And we'll see how this goes. Anymore, he looks like he's looking in the same direction as the telescope guy. And he doesn't look like he's going to fall over, so we still got to glue this baby on somewhere. And I noticed this morning, while I was looking for places to put these sailors and these officers. I got a busted pulley here that goes out there like this one. It goes out there on the other end. I got to tie a rope around the base of the pulley and then tie that off over there. So I'll get to that when I get done with these officers and they're uh, happy in their home. So now, any mini, mini, mo. Take a sailor this time. So he's, uh, I think he's swabbing the deck. Sort of like that guy over there. <clears throat> They got this one picture here holding the cannonball and the other guy, I guess he's got the gunpowder um, packing. Working a cannon. And you can see the captain there and the telescope guy. And on the back, I did a, a seven second still shot of this on the last video and it actually tells you uh, what each one of these persons are and that sort of gives you an idea of their job duties based on that so we're gonna so we got one set of guys working a cannon over there We're going to put, I need some sailors up here in the front, don't I? We'll put this guy, he's going to be pretty easy to glue down. Over there on that one. Here after five or ten of these guys, I take a a rag and I clean the head of this glue off. Oops! I dropped that on the floor. Casualty of war. This is a warship. spider webs on him when he hit the floor some of that glue came off 
so I got to readjust the position my tweezers are holding him. So that way, when I place him, he's going to be pretty much in the right position. better off out here in the that looks pretty good but he does he know he needs a buddy to be working with him got the buddy system This guy looks like he's up on one of the crow's nests, so I'm going to save him for a different spot. And we'll put this young lad here. <clears throat> Man, it's so amazing how young these guys would be on the ship in real life. He's a cabin boy. Doing all the hard labor. So our uh, sailor there is had a little bit too much rum. I gotta figure out how to get in there and save him before he passes out on the deck. Um, There's so much stuff in the way now, it's hard to get in there at all. That ain't gonna work. I need to come in from the other side. Where's my long bar at? Here we go. Might be able to help him with this. Yeah, that really worked. I think he needs a little more glue. On his legs or his feet. This glue's like flypaper, man. You get on there, it's not coming off easy. Alright, let's try this again here. Same spot. There we go. Now, I'm going to lose the cabin boy. What do I do with him? I put him down to save that guy, and I don't know what I did with him. Here he is. Lost under the vice. I think I want to bring him in from over here. Be like that. And since he's going to be standing up straight. I'm going to hit his feet with the sandpaper. That looks pretty flat. I'm just farting with the camera here to get it. Close to where you guys can see good. I think today is the 1st of December. 
And here in Florida, we're on our second cold snap. So it was a blistering 50 degrees or something this morning. I just sort of make sure his feet are planted straight up and down and then very carefully let go of it. Okay. Get a couple more on this side and then I'll turn the ship around because I want to get some guys on the other side like that. There's one up there working. I need to get some guys up in the rigging too. We'll run out before you know it. But that's okay. This is gonna bring a nice little feature to the model that wasn't in the plans. Yesterday, I spent a little while on the internet looking for my next... The only reason I did that is because my <clears throat> older daughter texted me and said, what do you want for Christmas? So now I have the dilemma. of picking out something I want for Christmas. Last year when she did that, I think I got a table saw out of the deal. These models aren't cheap. They're, I think this one was like 350 bucks, American US dollars. And the one I found on the internet is about the same length, but the scale's a little different. So I gotta research the scale, but the uniqueness of this one I'm looking at getting for my next project is that the whole side of it is cut away so you can see inside the ship on one side. I think it's the bounty, the name of it. Um, but uh, it doesn't have, I don't think it has cannons. This one has 80 cannons, if I remember correctly, which is no small number <laughs> when it comes to cannons. So, we have our next officer ready. Where should he go? And uh, I'll probably have all these guys glued on here, but because it's E6000, it's sort of like rubber. You can, and they're made out of pewter. It won't hurt them if I grab them and rip them off. I might have a little problem scraping the E6000 off of the wood decking or wherever they're stuck at, but put in the comments below if you have any good ideas of where all these guys should be. I mean, it's just a guessing game of watching movies and stuff, seeing where they, uh, we know a lot of the officers cabins would be back here and uh, trailers and all are down in the bottom of the ship but when they're under sail and everybody's uh, doing their duties they're probably not in their cabin so they're all out on deck doing something so let's just put some glue on this guy and pick a spot 
we don't have any officers right in the middle yet, so let's go in the middle. I think I'm going to make him face. back here yeah this will be something that we've got to take care of and that's building building a much more substantial base I think I'm gonna paint the bottom waterline area and build a better base and then we got to build a uh, display case to put this in he looks pretty good there right I think that other one is set up there in the front of if I can pull this out that was holding him up cool enough this morning. I don't know how well this E6000 sets up. But as you can see, I'm having lots of fun placing these guys. So we'll be back here soon doing something else. Okay, so we got all 20 eight sailors and officers placed in different spots on the ship I'm squeezing the camera here in between all these rigging lines trying to get a good shot Captain in the background. Oh, he had too much rum. I'm going to have to prop something in there. Then put a little dab of super glue on his belly. We'll do that in a second. I'm just going around and looking at all of them. So you can see where we placed, there's one back there, climbing up the rat lines. <clears throat> Got a couple in the crow's nest on the back two masts. And most all of them are down on the deck. But They look pretty good. I'm liking it. I fixed that pulley that was broken. 
I think it was right here. Or no, it was right here, I think. So many ropes now. So let's get a little bit of Yeah, we'll put a little dab glue in there. Got these little Chinese toothpicks coming up in a group and you break them off like <clears throat> chopsticks but I'm sure they're for toothpicks so. works really good so I just dab a dab a 6,000 Trying to get this block in there where it pushes him up. Hmm. That's what I need, but a narrower piece, narrower than that. There we go. <clears throat> so he's pushed up against the railing where the glue is. And we'll let that dry and I think that'll be the last guy. I don't see anybody else. I had too much rum. But there's 28 little people painted and installed. So, we're down to the minor details, like cannon doors, and making a better stand, installing that, making a base, installing that on the base. I'm thinking I want to use these on the base, but I gotta fabricate that's just threaded in there. So if I fabricate <clears throat> A block that looks like this profile but is really fat and wide and it fits the curvature of the ship better because these don't really fit it right so I'm 
I'm gonna have to come up with a pretty good sized chunk of wood. At least a half an inch or more, three quarters of an inch, a little square block. I might have something up there I can use. Then I can uh, I don't know I got to think about this design because I want it to be sturdy and come out a couple inches away from the keel on both places on both sides and then be sturdy as it installs onto this threaded bolt sort of get rid of this have two legs instead of this bracket so that'll be fun coming up with something and then once I do get something built before we actually install it we'll paint the water line As you can see When I did all the planking, this planking, probably 80 or 90 percent of it, is nailed on. Little teeny pin nails. But <clears throat> as much as I sanded, I still couldn't get the big gaps. So I took some wood putty and filled the gaps with wood putty, but it's a different color. You know, it's a light tan compared to the walnut. So, I think I just want to paint to the water line because the top part of the ship has been sealed with uh, Krylon. A crystal clear Krylon coating everywhere on the decking in the upper half of the hull. So that's pretty well done, other than maybe painting these cannon doors and some of this other stuff. I got some gold leaf paint that I'm thinking about doing. But uh, the bottom of the ship, I'm thinking, because what I saw, yeah, when I got these little people, I noticed that the ship that they're using as a reference has got a nice white bottom. And I think that would look good on this one. And it would help cover up and hide those You can see those bad places where the sanding and the gaps were just a little bit too much. And if I paint that white up to this water line, it would look a lot better. Because no matter how much I sand that, I'm still going to have that issue little micro cracks and stuff here and there so the plan is to paint the bottom of the hull <clears throat> but as a step of accomplishment for the day the little people are on deck and doing their prospective duties as long as he doesn't get too much room okay so you can see that base doesn't fit the profile of the ship so 
we're going to start over from scratch and try to make something that'll adapt to these so that we can use them for stanchions to hold it ship up so got some solid wood here and I traced the profile accounting for the thickness of the keel so we already put a four millimeter drill bit in there which is gonna be snug on that keel and we'll take the jigsaw and the grinder and we'll shake this profile and try to get it to fit nice and snug on that underside of the ship and then we'll shape the outside of this so we can mount that stanchion here and then duplicate that on another block verifying that this profile is the same in the back as it is in the front which it probably isn't but measure that when we get to the second one and uh, then we'll use this big piece for the base and we'll take the router bit and create some nice profiles on the edge of it prime and primer primer it and paint it and then we'll put that plaque on there the San Juan plaque and we'll also put this history in English I think I'm on a laminated or something like that <clears throat> but we want to put this history on the base somewhere or maybe on the case that we make <clears throat> I'm thinking of putting these around the edge maybe I don't know yet some stuff I got left over I can use for a little bit more unique decoration so that's the plan so far I'm gonna go ahead and work on shaping this see if I can get a good profile fit and then a good solid mount to that stanchion base I'm gonna come up with a good way to do that and uh, take it from there okay after much cutting and sanding and filing with a wood rasp and some other fine files <clears throat> I got a good shape that fits the profile really really snug and and uh, I think that it's going to be good enough for the front one. <clears throat> These are just holding the ship straight. Those little tails, but you can see that got a nice snug fit all the way to the end of the profile so now I can work on the bottom part of this just shaping it to some kind of a form that looks good and try to leave as much beef on the bottom here as I can for the bolt and washer I'll probably use some washers bolt and I haven't figured out what I'm going to do there yet but we'll work on that after we get this top bottom part cut off and shaped then I'll use this as a template to mark the other one and before I actually do that I'll take the ship and spin it around and try to get this see how good it fits on the back and if the profile is a little different, I'll try to modify 
the marking of the next piece using this template with a modified marking to try and better fit that rear profile. Hopefully it'll be close to the same. But we're uh, using the jigsaw to shape the rough. And then we put it in the vise and use a good old fashioned wood rasp and a nice sharp file and some sandpaper to get our profile smooth and ready for fitting so it's working out pretty good this takes a while okay so we got the second one cut out and shaped and fits like a glove on the back they're almost identical so what I'm doing now is I got a piece of flat bar here in the vise a little piece of flat bar that's oh probably quarter inch three eighths of an inch thick pretty thick and I'm tapping it to fit these non-standard threads, I think they're metric because the threads are so fine. That's not quarter twenty. <clears throat> so I did find a tap in my endless supply. These are all standard here. These are all metric. So I was able to find the right tap. And I took that vise you just saw over there in the vise and laid it up here and pilot drilled with the small and medium. And then this is the size for the tap. And just a little under, so I'm going to have more threads, which means I've got to take my sweet time. I got this started with the drill, and I'm about one third or one quarter of the way through. And I gotta slowly work this baby in there and keep the oil on it. Got cutting oil here. So once I get that tapped and I get it screwed on here, then I'm gonna drill a couple more holes in this and run some screws through this into the bottom of the block. So we'll have three connections from that flat bar bolted onto the bottom of this and then this tapped into the bottom of the of the stanchion so the flat bar will go in there between them. And I think that's going to be sturdy enough. Uh, the main thing is making it straight so that both of these when they're done will straightly fit on the ship when they set on this board. So. We're making progress. I'm going to finish tapping that and then cut another one. Use a real fine metal cutting blade in the Bosch and slowly went through that piece of steel flat bar. This is not aluminum, but uh, it's not real hard so. I'm able to drill it and cut it. Not too bad, but you guys got to take your time and keep the oil on it. And you don't want to run the drill or the saw fast. You got to go slow so you don't break something or you don't strip something or you don't burn something up because you will burn a blade up or a drill bit up if you go too fast. So we're going slow and taking our time and. We're gonna punch that out and get one of them together and see what it looks like after I drill a couple more holes here. Okay, that took a little while, but we have got this bolted on to the piece that fits the profile really good. And you can see the screws sticking up there. I wanna use 
<clears throat> them to screw into the bottom of the ship. And I can even go longer if I need to, but those I think will get enough bite on there. And I'll just try to do it where there's a rib at in the ship. But, uh, Other than a little sanding and cleaning up and painting and stuff, one of them is done. So we were able to drill and tap that thread into that piece of steel. That makes for a good solid base. And then we screwed this on to the steel. And thing is like a rock, so I think it's going to be fine, and that will support the ship, and it'll be pretty strong. So I got to do this next one set up. Cut, drill, and tap, and then assemble it. <clears throat> I don't know if I want to chamfer these edges or not. I can do that on the grinder, but maybe chamfer the edges to match that profile. But well, we got some pretty beefy supports there that fit the profile of the ship real better than these do. <clears throat> As you can see when I'm building this thing to flopping all around. I got some pieces of wood in the front. But yeah that's how sloppy they are. So we can't have that. So what we've made, I think, is going to take the place of these. <clears throat> It'll bring the ship up a little bit off the platform. And I think it'll look pretty good. Thanks for watching. A little uh, progress in the base for the ship we got these two end pieces or side pieces cut and I'm working on laying out the cuts for the, the ends I'm going to cut this part off so I have an equal amount of post on the ends and in the process of doing all this I actually uh, almost dropped the whole ship, but I was able to grab it and uh, it broke the anchor again. So I got that glue and it broke this one divot and that divot there and a couple tie ropes on one of the sails, but I was able to get them back. To their normal spot and salvage the disaster. So we'll continue on with this base. I got this ready to uh, mount to the ship. We'll have some screws coming up through here, screwing into the bottom of the ship, and uh, that will secure it. But in the meantime, we averted a big disaster, similar to the disaster I had on the Cuddy Sark, where I had to cut a hole in the side of it and do a cutaway of the interior of the ship because I dropped it on the floor and it busted a big old hole in the side of the ship. 
We saved that with some new innovations. Huh?